Sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders. Just visit the front page of TFNN.com. The following is a presentation of TFNN. Trade what you see with Larry Pesavento. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-873-7618. Now, Larry Pesavento. Okay, folks, glad to be back. I've uh, been at the Money Show there in Las Vegas, Nevada for four days at the Bali. Oh, no, wait, it was called the Paris Hotel. Very nice place. Uh, and it was so crowded, folks, it used to be free to go to. Now people have to pay $179 just to get in the place to see the exhibits and stuff. And then each of the, well, not all of the presentations are are paid. Mine happened to be, and I was not expecting a very big crowd because you know I'm I'm other than being in TFNN, I'm not in the the uh, the uh, pri uh, public eye very much. But let me tell you something, folks. When I was walking through the exhibits right before I was giving my speech on the 26th, I mean I I couldn't believe how many people that watch TFNN or listen to TFNN come up and wanted to do a you know a selfie picture and stuff and it was uh it was really surprising there must have been oh at least a half or more than that there were more than a half of that probably close to nine or ten people that uh, and at ten bucks a piece i made a hundred bucks on that so and if you believe that i still have two shares of the brooklyn bridge available for you but my presentation was a standing room only and i did get a standing ovation at the end so we had a lot of fun but let me show you the chart that we were looking at on that day that was uh August the 26th, and you can see the low there in the S&P making an ABCD at 40.74, and the low was 40.68. This was just as this was 10 o'clock in the morning New York time, and this is when it was happening. And I was pointing. I didn't mention the 382. I didn't put any of these uh, diagrams that are up here like this. All I did was focus on a half hour chart using ABCDs. That's all I was doing. And I was trying to show them how ABCDs work. Now, with the, there was about 75 people in the room, and I, I asked how many people had heard me speak. And believe it or not, folks, there were three people from London from last year's April, uh, April 1st to the uh, third presentation that I did with Tom Hugard, David Paul, and I uh, can't remember Steve's last name. Uh, Steve Hastings, who's the psychologist, and uh, they actually came all the way to uh, to, to hear me for, for for a couple hours, which was really uh, I, I was I was honored. They had a good time. They came up and you know said hello, and then I remembered one of them. The other one I I didn't quite remember, but uh, it was nice meeting both of them. But a nice group of people. They had a lot of questions. And uh, we, we tried to talk about some of the things that, you know, you need to do about learning how to do ABCDs. But folks, of that group out there, other than the people that were there from London and the few students that were there, uh, virtually nobody had ever heard of AB equals CD. And when I went through the thing with the Mandelbrot and the Gartley and all that stuff, showing them where those ABCD lightning bolt patterns came from, it was all very, very unusual. And I asked them to pick out the charts that they were trading to see if we could find some of those patterns. And by golly, you'll never guess. They certainly were. They were certainly there. What I'm going to share with you now is one that uh, I'll bring it up here. This happens to be Apple. Uh, we did it over. Uh, we, we did a daily chart over the last six weeks so that we could get an idea of uh, you know some of these swings that were happening. These are daily swings, and all of the, you folks know what they are. But they had never seen. A B C D patterns. A B C. I didn't bring, I didn't bring the F word into this uh, until somebody asked the question. Does this fit in with Fibonacci? Yes. Then I, I tried to weave in, show you the retracements and stuff like that. But this is what I did, and I said, look to to sell Apple, you know, at around, uh, you know, 170.88 uh, on Monday, and it's only been to 170.28. It still should get there, but your risk is going to be certainly quantified and your profit objective is going to be quite nice if it works 
So all I was just trying to show them how that worked, and it actually was a, a lot easier than uh, we thought. What I, I tell you, the most important thing to me was this, the uh, fact that there were so many people that, that listened to TFNN that were there. I mean, it was really amazing to me. Uh, I, I was, uh, and there was no booths. I had, used to have booths years ago. I used to pay like, I think, $2,500 for a booth for three days and sell books and, you know, do the speeches and stuff like that. But now it's all, it's all, uh, what do you call it? Real estate, uh, diamonds, uh, gold guys, and uh, uh, commercial real estate, uh, Bitcoin people. Uh, and there were no trading, no trading people there at all. Zero, not one. And uh, no, there were one or two brokerage firms there. Uh, Interactive Brokers was there. And uh, I think TG Ameritrade was there. I, I, maybe, maybe not. But I, there's a couple of brokerage firms. And there there was a good crowd. I mean, they, they, you know, it filled up the place. And they were very, very happy with the, uh, the turnout for everything. So uh, that's uh, – I was just really uh, – I was uh, surprised that, to see that that many people – uh, that that listen to uh, TFNN. I mean, I know they have a big you know, big reach, but when you see that many people come up and uh, say hello and thank Tom for everything that he's done, it's it's really uh, uh, quite nice. But we we focused on mainly uh, ABCD patterns, and I walked through them. I talked to them about the little bit about the geometry of the market, how highs and lows are made, and uh, you know why things were happening the way they were. We had a couple of questions about the. Uh, what do you call these banking stocks that have been under uh, a great deal of pressure? And, of course, the one that was under the greatest pressure, this was from just a few days ago uh, when it was rallying at 351. This happens to be First Republic. Now, I'm, I'm, I'm started a GoFundMe page, folks, for uh, J.P. Morgan because they're going to be taking it over. Remember, this was $230 a share in January. And now it has got as low as a dollar sixteen. That's probably where Jamie Dimon uh, picked it up. Now they're going to be taking over all the assets and the, some of the liabilities, but not all of the liabilities, not the bond debt or the stuff like that, or the stock debt. They're taking over some of the other stuff, and the rest of it's going to be covered by the FDIC and other other big banks that are in here. So hold on one second, the old beeper is going off and I wanted to see what was going on and it happens to be with the NASDAQ is hitting a, a high level here just give me one second folks this sort of gives me a little bit of uh, surprise here because I had that set, set there a long time ago and I want to see where we are bear with me here one second and I'll get this up here there it is we're almost there and we're Ah, oh, there we are. Just making. Uh, we're just going up to the high that we made uh, earlier this morning. There's nothing, nothing really dramatic going on uh, with that uh, right now. The S&P still there, trading at 42.01, and that's uh, pretty much what we're paying close attention to here. The big thing, folks, is the Treasury bond market has uh, broken below that magical level of 130. If you remember, we had a sell-in up there at that uh, 132 level, had our stop a little bit too close, and it had a 382 retracement last night, and then it's just broken like a rock here, two full points down on the day, which means higher interest rates are coming, boys and girls. So. Uh, get ready for that. It's not going to be long before the Fed comes out and says, oh, it's going to be another quarter percent or whatever it happens to be. But uh, that rate is coming and you want to be able to be prepared for it. We'll be right back. 877-927-6648. Currencies, commodities, and bond markets are as important as ever right now with how they're driving the volatility in equity markets across the globe, which is why it's a great time to try out Teddy Kegstat's Tiger Forex Report. Teddy Kegstat breaks down the Forex markets every Monday using his 30-plus years of experience as a trading veteran of futures, Forex, stocks, and options. Teddy releases his weekly Tiger Forex Report every Monday morning with coverage of all the major currency pairs, including the dollar index, the euro dollar, pound dollar, dollar Swiss, dollar yen as well as many more and he also has weekly coverage of the crude oil market and the 30-year t-bonds as they both influence forex markets tremendously when you sign up for the tiger forex report you also gain instant access to teddy's 60-minute webinar archive he just hosted forex strategies and fundamentals what is behind the tiger forex report for all the details and to start your 30-day tiger forex report subscription today visit the front page of tfnn.com 
TFNN, educating investors. Steve Rhodes started his trading career as a student almost 20 years ago, and the student has now become the master. Steve won the prestigious Timer of the Year Award in 2018 and barely missed that mark again in 2019, finishing at number two for the year. An amazing accomplishment. Steve Rhodes is committed to sharing his techniques and knowledge with anyone who wants to learn, and he shares his vast amount of trading knowledge every day in his Mastering Probability newsletter. Steve's award-winning newsletter, Mastering Probability, is delivered every trading day with updates throughout the afternoon. Sign up for Steve's market newsletter, Mastering Probability, and you'll receive access to seven of Steve's educational webinars absolutely free. At TFNN, all our newsletters come with a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have absolutely nothing to worry about. Visit TFNN.com and try Mastering Probability 30 days risk-free today. TFNN, education investors. Are you looking for a way to consistently add winning trades to your portfolio? Tom O'Brien is here to help. Tom O'Brien has been successfully trading markets for over 30 years. A frequent contributor to TD Ameritrade Network and CNBC, Tom O'Brien founded TFNN over 20 years ago to help educate investors just like you. Tom's daily market newsletter, Market Insights, is published every morning when the markets open to give you the competitive informational edge you need to succeed. These newsletters are packed full of Tom's advanced technical analysis and are geared to deliver comprehensive strategies for a successful portfolio. Get Tom O'Brien's newsletter, Market Insights, today and try all of our products and newsletters 30 days risk-free with our money-back guarantee at TFNN.com. TFNN. Educating Investors. Free at one eight seven seven nine two seven six six four eight internationally at seven two seven eight seven three seven six one eight. Okay, folks. I posted the chart of the federal, uh, the uh, Federal Republic Bank of Los Angeles or, or California that uh, has been taken over by uh, J.P. Morgan today. But I also posted the chart here of the uh, New York Bank, the Signature Bank of New York, and the fact that it's uh, also went to zero. Now, on my day off on Thursday, the 27th, I was able to play poker. And I played at the Orleans Hotel, which is, I've been playing there for 50 years. They have very good Las Vegas locals that play all the time. They're very, very good. And so I budgeted 300 bucks, my usual. And I sat down in a 4-8 game, which means you bet $4 and $8, and it goes to 8-16. So you can play $300 for quite a while if you play solid. Well, folks, I had one of the greatest runs I've ever had playing poker for, for the whole day. I mean, it was amazing. I don't think I lost three hands the whole day. I didn't play every hand, but I made a considerable amount of money. I, you know, I'm talking, you know, <laughs> four figures. And uh, it was, I, I made a couple thousand bucks. But uh, the good part was I was able to buy into the tournament that night. It was a $300 tournament, and uh, first place was $15,000. And I knew that you know I was on a streak, and I'm not, I'm an average player, but I know how to play solid, you know, hold 'em tournament, and I did pretty good. Out of 214 people, I got down to 32nd. I had to get to 30th, but I had a lot of fun. I had uh, my highest level was uh, I had a quarter of a million chips. That's when there was about 50 people left, and I had a pair of jacks, and a jack hit the board, which means I had three jacks, and uh, I uh, was called by two players. And I was knew I knew what they had. They either had aces or kings or queens, and one of them had aces, the other had kings, and the king came up. So he beat the aces and he beat my jacks, and I got knocked out. But if I'd had that, I would have been in serious uh, information for money. But I had a lot of fun, really enjoyed it, and had a great time while I was there, and no problems with anything. Very very crowded in the middle of the week. But uh, that was the only place that was crowded. Most of the other places were busy, but just not super crowded. Getting back to the markets, folks, the reason why I bring these banking stocks up to you, and I know some of you are listening in are stock traders. When you see something happening to your stock and you see it going down, realize that somebody on the inside knows something. 
okay? That's the one thing is they can't hide from you, folks. If there's more selling, prices are going to go down. And that's what you've got to be aware of. Playing in the game on Thursday, a gentleman said he owned some of this stock in Los Angeles, okay? But he was not worried about it because it was covered under the FDIC. And one of the guys on the table said, do you own the stock or do you own your? Do you have your deposits there? He says, well, I have both. He says, I have Gold Report. As a precious metal, gold is still king. It continues to hold the most effective safe haven and hedging properties across the global major trading hubs of the London OTC market, the U.S. futures market, and the Shanghai Gold Exchange. The Gold Report. Tom O'Brien publishes his weekly Gold Report every Monday morning for subscribers, consisting of coverage of the XAU, HUI, GDX, the dollar, bonds, the South African Rand, as well as 25 different mining equities with specific buy-sell recommendations. The Gold Report. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. Subscribe to Tom O'Brien's Gold Report newsletter now at TFNN.com. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com. Educating investors. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern for free. Each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. 
Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Okay, we're back, folks. Larry Pesavento without internet of any kind, so I am flying blind, as they say in the trade. And the man in the what, what was Larry Williams' favorite saying? In the land of the blind, the one-eyed man is king, and I have no eyes. So we'll just talk about some of the things that I think are important. Uh, I tried to stress to the folks in the lecture the importance that uh, what we do here has nothing to do with gambling. Gambling is, you know, where an event happens, a toss of the coin, roll of the dice, spin of the wheel, turn of the card, blow of the whistle, whatever it happens to be, once that starts, it goes until completion. You can't change anything. Now, they have bets at halftime and stuff like that, but those are singular bets. With trading, you can put a trade on and take it off within one second, pay that small, a small commission, so you do have control over your money. In gambling, you do not. That's the big difference. So if your family ever talks about that, try to explain to them that when you're gambling, you have no control. When you're trading, you have some control. That doesn't mean you're going to exercise the control. That just means that you have it. And that's what some of these people that have owned these banking stocks like uh, Silver Bank, uh, Silicon Valley Bank, and the Signature Bank in New York, and, uh, oh, my goodness, I've lost everything. I don't even have electricity. I was darn phone working. I don't understand. This is not good. Holy cow. There, we're coming back here a little bit. Maybe we'll have this up and running here in just a little bit. But that's the main thing that uh, you've got to realize that when you're doing this, it's about how much money you don't lose as opposed to how much money you're going to make. And that's the that's the real thing of what you're what you're trying to do when you're doing this. I recommended they asked me what I thought the best books for trading was, and of course I recommended my book. And of course, number one book was Trading in the Zone by Mark Douglas, and then I also I recommended the book by Napoleon Hill, Think and Go Rich. Uh, that was a life changing book for me back in 1960 when I was a sophomore in college, and I. Uh, devoured that book. I was fortunate enough to meet him once uh, in my senior year, and uh, he, he passed away a few years after that, but he was very, very influential. The things are in that book about thinking positive. I certainly uh, I certainly uh, did that, and and I, I still live, live by that uh, to that day, so we'll, we'll see if we're going to be able to do it. And I know that I have Internet uh, connection coming in right now, so I'm going to call into Skype, hopefully, and we will get these things running. And then we will have our guest will be Mike Moore of More Analytics. And if he's not there, and if he's not there, are you there, Mike? Yes, sir. Good. Listen, I'm on the phone right now. Uh, I think, uh, have you chatted with Al? Let, has he connected with you and everything? Yes, sir. Okay, well, you're, hey, Larry, hey, Mike, it's no sir, it's just Larry, okay? All right, Larry. I feel, I feel, I feel like a dinosaur enough, so I don't, <laughs> just, it's just plain old me. Anyway, uh, you're going to start here in just a few seconds, and then I'm going to hook on to Skype a little bit later, but you're, you've got control. Uh, cover the, uh, the complex, the stuff that you usually do, the crude, uh, natural gas, uh, and then jump into natural gas because we're. Okay critical levels I think in here so it'll be uh, you're ready to go so see you later okay thank you Larry okay. I appreciate it okay just going to share my screen here hello everybody out there watching welcome okay so we're taking a look at the crude oil first of all I'm just going to back up a little bit from where we've been in the past uh, couple of days on the daily chart um I noted that we had left a significant bearish reversal above uh, right here, that uh, a medium term uh, bearish reversal above, excuse me, that's where I said uh, the moderate bearish reversal above is brought in 575 pressure, pressure from 7405. 
and then the pressure and then the break below 8088 has brought in 695 of pressure so we started to see that come off i said we'd likely come off for days We're still coming off looking at a lower time frame chart we broke this is the 88 line that we've broken below here and we've just been drifting down now <clears throat> within that i expect that this is probably still going to come off for in general i still think this is going to come off quite a bit However, just within this structure here, I think that this is the last stretch down uh, before holding poss uh, possible exhaustion areas. One would be right here at 73.31 to 73.12. The other uh, key one would be at 72.08 to 71.76, either of which could bring in a lower time frame bullish correction that would exceed 295 ticks. If we see that. Hopefully you can all see see my writing a little bit here. Um, we also have these downward uh, sloping formations here. They came in at 76.24 to 47 minus 2.5 ticks per hour this morning at 8 a.m. If we were to break above those, uh, that would warrant a decent strength. But I, I still think overall this is headed lower. So ideally, I mean, this is looking out, extrapolating a little bit. But if we came down here and finished this structure, we could then have a bullish correction they exceed 295 ticks. And then if we held exhaustion up here, that could set us up for like a whole new bear structure to the downside. So opportunities down here. And also if we break below these lows and back up through them, uh, and that would be coming in at 7407 to 393. If we break below there and back above, that could also signal an early termination of this move down. And then that moderate bullish, uh, bullish correction. Also, if we see that bullish correction and then fail back down through these lines, that would be an excellent place to short because then you'd be shorting and your, your risk would be moving down with you in your favor as the market continues to come off. Mm -hmm. Well, you've done a great job with this as far as telling us which direction it's been going because you've been bearish for at least a month. And boy, it's certainly been right. dropping even uh, when they had great news. Uh, it lasted a little bit, and that's given it all back. To, does that mean that those cuts that they have are really uh, – they may or may not happen? Is is that how the market interprets that, or do you know? Well, the way I look at it is the current market price of, of the futures markets that's being traded is a reflection of the sum total of the knowledge of all the people trading it. I like so, that part, yeah. Um, that's – I just look at it as far as that, and I don't try to look too far ahead. If I start getting into mm -hmm. the fundamentals and, and the rest of it, yeah. I, I find out more often than not, it gums you up, unless it's very Sure long does. I'm on, your, I'm on the same page with you on that, Mike, so please continue. Um, unless it's political policy, I will say, if you look back at the, the day that Joe Biden got elected to go in, the, the gas went up from there substantially. And that's not any commentary on him being a president at all, but he just had different policies when it came to energy, uh, specifically than, than Trump did. And that's why uh, a large reason why a lot of that ran up to the upside. Um, okay, so jumping into, oh, and also one of the other reasons why this held up here also is the gas, the gasoline here had held a critical exhaustion level right up at the top. And then it broke down and then it all started rolling over as well. So I would also be aware that gasoline has a similar line coming down that's talked about in the analysis also. That comes in at 253.08 minus 10 ticks per hour starting at 8 o'clock this morning. And then the heating oil, let me just take a look in there real quick. The heating oil did not exactly have a similar one, but... I think we talked a lot the last time is that if we get back up above these key areas right in here, that could bring in substantial short covering. So that area right there comes in at uh, 23,820 to 23,988. That's in the June heat. We came right up to try to try to take it out the other day at, at two, uh, 23,943 or 23,943, excuse me. But we couldn't quite take it out. But if we get up there and we settle above there, that could start seeing some decent short cover and come in as well. Did you want – And okay. let's take a quick look at the natural gas. 
Now, the natural gas, we come over, and I'd said we'd left this substantial um, bullish formation in here. That was negated. Excuse me. Just move my charts here a second. That was negated. Then we broke below this formation that we talked about, I think, last time we were on. We came off a bit and then rallied up to these other two more formations and failed. So we've been – we were bullish from the break above here and then bearish when we broke back down below this line. And we're starting to see the pressure come in. And then if we fail below this line decently, um, this is not yet a decent penetration. But once we see a decent penetration, that's going to project this downward also. And that will be to the tune of – um, I didn't actually give a specific projection, but that'll probably be at least 200 ticks. By the way, I just wanted to uh, just note something to the viewers. You know, when you see this analysis that I have here, you might say like, wow, this looks like a lot of writing. I wouldn't want to digest that every day. <clears throat> but the reality is most of this, a typical subscriber wouldn't be subscribing every day. So like on the higher time frame basis, it talks about all these big moves and biases here, but you notice it says these are on hold. So every day that you'd come in, you just check this sentence. If it still says it's on hold, you don't read any of this because these are higher time frame place mm -hmm. markers of larger trades. So the failure below 844 has brought in $6.49.4 pressure. That's how, that's where I initially started getting bearish. And then if you look at these first couple sentences, this says these are on hold, so you don't need to read either of these either. So really all you're left with is, is these lower <clears throat> sentences. And then on the upside and the downside, there are usually resistance numbers above settlement for three ADRs. And ADR means average daily range and three ADRs on the downside, roughly. But 70% of the time, the market really doesn't break out outside of that typical ADR that much. So, again, on most days, you're not even going to be using the last couple sentences on the on the upper and lower paragraph because the market's not going to trade into those range ranges. So, really, on any given day, if you're looking at natural, you're just digesting a couple sentences here, a couple okay. sentences here, and a couple sentences here because that's all that's yeah. going to be on the day. Yeah. Hey, Mike. When we get back, I want to I want to uh, t talk about that a little bit more because the way you've condensed this is really important because you've got a lot of stuff here and you've condensed it the right way. So let's chat when we pay a few bills. We'll be right back in about three minutes. Okay? Sounds good. You bet. Mike Moore, more analytics, folks. We'll be right back. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Are you looking for a way to consistently add winning trades to your portfolio? Tom O'Brien is here to help. Tom O'Brien has been successfully trading markets for over 30 years. A frequent contributor to TD Ameritrade Network and CNBC, Tom O'Brien founded TFNN over 20 years ago to help educate investors just like you. Tom's daily market newsletter, Market Insights, is published every morning when the markets open to give you the competitive informational edge you need to succeed. These newsletters are packed full of Tom's advanced technical analysis and are geared to deliver comprehensive strategies for a successful portfolio. Get Tom O'Brien's newsletter, Market Insights, today 
and try all of our products and newsletters 30 days risk-free with our money-back guarantee at TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. Biotech is booming, but for how long? Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, trade LABU or LABD. Direction's daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. This program is brought to you by Vista Gold. Traded on the NYSE American and TSX under the symbol VGZ. Okay, we're back, folks, with Mike Moore, more analytics. And uh, Mike, explain to them uh, the short version of what you're doing, in as opposed to, because uh, as I was looking at, it, I said, I said, boy, that's really easy to look at. But then when you look at all the writing, uh, tell the folks what's really important about that report, because it uh, hit me right on the head. <laughs> okay, can you still see my screen? Yes, we're in good shape. Okay. Yes. Okay, so let me just break this down for everybody like this whole energy complex, like what it's about, okay? Because this is multiple products within one suite. So if you look at this, basically you have the, the nat you have the natural gas and the crude oil, the unleaded gas and the heat, the Brent and the gas, okay? Those are the main outrights that are included in this. And now that looks like a lot of writing, okay? But what I was trying to say before is that probably 75% of this writing, you're not even going to read each day. See how this says these are all on hold? You don't need to read any of this. That's just yeah. because those are a higher time frame place marker. And the same thing is with the downside. Then <clears throat> as you go down, okay, this trade, this sheet right here, let me uh, blow this up a little bit. Uh, if you may recall, every everything in this column right here, all these little symbols next to these numbers, are a summary of what it says in the upside paragraph and the downside paragraph. So if okay. you have any small arrows or those little squiggly, those are fade symbols. Those are an exact representation of what it says in here. If it's a dark arrow like this, a big one, that means it's a more substantial trade. So all of these trades in here might be intra intra day trades, whereas this trade here might be a multi day trade where you're looking for, so these, you would be looking for a percentage of a day's range, whereas here you might be looking for multiples of a day's range. Okay. Good. So re-represented down here. And so here you can see the natural gas, crude, and RBOB all together. So why would I have this re-represented down here? Well, in the trading pits, a lot of times, or if you're watching these multiple markets, it's helpful to have these on the same page because I can see if, let's say, crude's hitting 79.07 to 18, and it happens to be at the same time that the RBOB's hitting a resistance area and the heat's hitting a resistance area. If they're all lining up, that gives you even more confidence to sell because they're all hitting one of those areas. Does that make sense? Yes, that makes perfect sense. That sure does. And the traders on the on the pits on the NYMEX floor used to cut out these these four columns. I mean, back then I didn't have the R, the Brent and the gas oil, mm -hmm. and they would literally paste these on the back of their trading pads before they went down into the pit. And all they would have to do was look at these symbols and knew what they mean. And these symbols that are larger, there's a larger amount of risk that needs to be taken to get into those. But you're looking for a much bigger, um, a much bigger call off of them. And then, and, and the these down here, where it says ADR, this tells you what the typical range of the day is. So, you know, past the, the average of the natural gas has been 97 ticks lately. 
crude oil is 209 ticks. And this also helps you to decide how you would weight your portfolio, right? So since natural gas and crude oil are uncorrelated, and you want to be trading both of these markets because if they're uncorrelated and they both have a positive equity curve, trading them both at the same time should level out a lot of your dips, but your positive sum. That being said, if your average daily range in the natural gas is 96 and crude oil is 209, you should basically be trading two natural gas for every one crude oil that you traded. Mm -hmm. And for that matter, you should be trading two crude for every gas that you're trading. Well, not not quite two, but uh, what what you know maybe a third more because of the the higher volatility in gas. So these ADRs are very important to help you understand how much the market's typically going to move in a day. And then this gives you max, example, it gives you maximum leverage with uh, very little risk exposure too, doesn't it? Exactly. Exactly. Good. And so, so when you're looking through all this, you're basically looking at this is a, this is a, a a market that's uncorrelated to crude, and of course the crude and the Brent are very similar, and the heat and the gas oil are very similar. But so you look at all three of the Arbob and the heat is sort of like one market, but you have huge leverage in those. Is this you know, if you look at the cracks and the spreads, they dictate to you which of these you want to be long if you're going to be long or which of these you want to be short if you're going to be short. And that's dictated by looking at these spreads down here and seeing what they're telling you. Okay. We've gone through these before. And then the spreads, I don't have a whole write-up like that. Whatever, If I see anything significant in the spreads, it's just written right here in the body of the chart. And also, okay. you know, for example, right here in the – in the Arbob to heat. I said this went out strong on the day Tuesday and left a moderate bullish reversal below. We've rallied 682 ticks. And then the trade above 1450 brought in 338 ticks of strength. If we fail back down through there, we should see decent pressure. And I also happened to say on that day on Thursday that we should see range expansion the next day. And you can see how big this day's range was compared to the previous day. So that's why I say we saw a 288% expansion in range over that of Thursday. Makes sense. So sometimes I'll say, sometimes I'll say today we're looking for range expansion. So what does that mean to you as a trader? That means that today's range should exceed yesterday's range. So if you got a trade going in a certain direction, you could expect more than an ADR on the day and possible mul multiples of an ADR. So you might hold that trade longer. That makes sense. It does, yes. Okay. So I'll just finish up with natural gas real quick because we, we got into this. But right now it's bearish. We break below here, it's going to be further bearish. We break back above this line. That's going to turn it back to bullish. But I think um, – sorry, lost my page here. The natural gas – is in a very rare condition right now in the sense that we had a big bullish reversal and then a moderate bearish reversal and both of those were negated. So I think that we may be building a kind of a base here. We may see some more choppy action for um, a number of days or weeks. Currently we're bearish within it, but uh, it's rare that you would see that many crossbacks. Mm -hmm. so. <coughs> me. You want to look at the S&Ps or you have any questions? Yes, on please. The yeah, they, they, that was a People have their hands up right now, so please do the spoos. Okay. Oh, do the spoos? Okay. Okay, the SP 500. Let me get that over here. Nope. Oh, sorry, that's Bitcoin. Excuse me. All right, here we go. All right, the SP, um, the break above. Let me just back up a little bit. We held exhaustion above at 41.98 and a quarter, and we rolled over 129.5. And I said that was a likely medium time frame bearish correction or trade. And if so, the minimum target would be 40.61.75. However, we came down just shy of that to 40.68.75. And today, the fact that we took out this high changed the whole picture. So now, I said this morning that the break above 41, well, I'm sorry, let me back up. Prior to that, the break above hit formation right here turned to bullish. 
Okay, let's uh, take a break here. Mike, we'll see you again in a half an hour at the uh, second show break, okay, at uh, 2.30? Yes, sir. Sounds good. We want, to, we, could, we want to do some of these other financials, too. Mike Moore, more analytics, folks. We'll be right back. 877-927-6648. If you're looking for potential trading setups in the stock market, then Rocket Equities and Options Report is a newsletter you should try. Tommy O'Brien delivers options and equity trades when the markets present them using a combination of fundamentals and technicals. Sign up for Rocket Equities and Options Report today with a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. For all the details and to start your subscription today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything, from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com, educating investors. TFNN has launched the Tiger's Den, hosted at Discord. TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. The Tiger's Den, available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no catch or added costs when you join our community of traders. Sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders. Just visit the front page of TFNN.com. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Okay, folks, I posted a chart here of the dollar index because we were talking about that during my presentation uh, on the 26th and how the dollar and the euro worked in unison as the dollar goes up, the euro goes down. And a few people asked about Fibonacci. They'd heard it, but they didn't understand the sequence of numbers. I tried to give them a little flavor of what it was, but like most things, it, unless you study it a little bit, it's not going to do very much. But you'll note today's low, as you can see here, in this dollar index right here. This was very, very important, folks, because what happened to the euro on the day we were there is I wanted to show them that this is uh, what this was actually happening when it went on and I uh, I was uh, really surprised that it worked for heaven's sakes to the exact tick actually it made the 61 percent retracement of the high that we made way back when six and a half weeks ago and people were very very surprised about that and I said well if you want to learn more about Fibonacci tune in to 
the Tiger Financial News Network and listen to some of the stuff that goes on because a lot of folks talk about it. But uh, that's a very, very important number that we hit here on uh, last Thursday. So uh, last Wednesday. So it's very, very important that we pay really close attention to that one as we go through. Now, um, the one other thing that I did want to mention is that I hope that we can have an idea here. 2007, I was in Clearwater, Florida at the TFNN. Uh, they had a big seminar there, and I'm going to talk to Mr. O'Brien and Tommy to do another one of those. There's a lot of people out there that would like to get together, I think, and meet someplace cool like Clearwater right there on the water and uh, spend uh, several days commencing, even trading together. I think that would really be a good idea. It would be a lot of fun meeting some of these folks, but we've got a good venue of people, and boy, not many people can put a venue on like Tom can. So I th- I'd put a, put a little bug in his ear, folks, you know, tickle his uh, whistle, and maybe he will uh, put on something like that. You know, I think it would really be fun to see it uh, moving on. Uh, also, folks, this, this is not just the, this. This is just the second the largest bank. Uh, Washington Mutual back in 07 was the largest. Uh, this was the second largest. There's others out there. And if they tell you that everything's okay, you can absolutely rest assured that things are not okay. Not- Building 